I've talked to you guys about uh, creosine many times. Normally, Sandrine Lusso is uh, the person I talk to, but she has a sore throat. So this year, we're going to talk to Raphael Seb. How are you doing today? Uh, great. Uh, we just won a prize, so we are so proud about it. Uh, with Emulsio, this is uh, our latest application about video stabilization for iPad and iPhone. And uh, it will take your shaky videos and make them uh, very stable and smooth. And uh, we are very excited about this new app. So I always like to start things with a problem to be solved, and you sure nailed it right there. That it's shaky video on an iPhone. Wow, I wonder if I've ever done that, right? <laughs> yeah, sure. It will uh, process the video from your iPhone, but also uh, from GoPro cameras, for instance. So it's uh, really uh, great for uh, video oh. makers. Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. We're big, uh, we're big GoPro video fans, too, so <laughs> that'll be great. So how does it work? Uh, the way it works is that uh, you have to import your uh, movie into uh, the application. It will analyze it. Uh, when the analysis is uh, finished, uh, you will be able to tune the stabilizer, stabilizer settings until you get uh, the proper result that you want, and then you export it back to your album. So now, my experience with stabilization programs is you're going to lose some of the outer edge stuff because it's gotta, it has to move in and use less of the video, correct? Exactly, that's the way it, it works. Uh, but you can at least change the amount of the zoom uh, if it's only small shakes, you can rem uh, have a small stabilizer, uh, uh, a smaller uh, setting to have uh, very little uh, lo lost uh, around the edges. Oh, yeah. I see, I see. So can you show it to us for the video, uh, yeah. video watchers? Let's turn it around this way so Steve can see what we're doing. So he's got a video up of uh, some, uh, looks like some kids skiing. And on the top half is a very stable version of the video and on the bottom half it's uh it's really really shaky so um i wouldn't necessarily believe this but pilot pete came over to me and showed me video of his own child skiing and uh he showed that it did show the uh the video stabilization so right now he's dragging a slider up and down of how much stabilization strength to apply where if it's uh, a lot of it applied it's zooming in a little bit and it uh, looks really really stable that looks like even I could figure it out. Okay, what'd you just do now? You just tapped a target. Yeah, uh, this, uh, this shows the uh, instantaneous motion compensation. Uh, this means uh, the red cross shows by how much we compensate motion uh, to have a, a, a stabilized uh, movie. So is that just for fun or does that actually help you figure out what to do? Uh, it, it can help you choose uh, the right amount of uh, uh, strengths. Uh, because if there's only small motion, you don't need to have a high zoom into the, the image. You can just have a small one, and uh, this, this will be correct uh, in the end. Yeah. I see. Cool. So now, do you stabilize the entire video, or can you stabilize just part of it? How does that work? Uh, no, you, you stabilize the entire video, but there is some uh, basic timeline editing as well. So you can just cut some part of the movie uh, like, like this. If you don't so he's pulling it like a standard trim, like you would in, uh, yeah, exactly. in uh, QuickTime. Then you delete, you delete some part, and uh, you, you do some uh, basic editing there. Uh, so I saw some controls on the left-hand side of the screen. What does it say? It says T, X, Y, R, and W. What's that? You can uh, disable uh, the stabilizer for one or both axis, uh, Y and uh, X and Y axis. You can enable and disable the rotational uh, stabilization for the camera. And the third setting is something pretty unique that uh, even Apple doesn't do in it, its uh, building built-in stabilizer. It's uh, correcting the rolling shutter effect. It means uh, when, you, uh, when you are traveling, when you're panning with your device, uh, the image will uh, squeeze, will uh, uh, deform uh, with uh, an angle. And we can compensate for that as well. Yeah. Oh, like the propeller on a plane, the way you'll see it actually look like it's bent. You can fix that. Oh, uh, uh, you wheel that sort of thing. Uh, you, you, we can fix on the entire image. I can show you an example of that if you want. <laughs> okay. Well, maybe we'll do that off the air. But this sounds really cool. So the application is called Emulsio, and the company is called Creaseed. That's C R E A C E E D. And what is the website? Uh, it's uh, creaseed.com, uh, and uh, you will find all the products over there. Great, and uh, they are also the makers of Prismo, the document scanner application that I choose to use. Thank you very much, Raphael. Thank, Raphael. You. Thank you very much.